A crisp left hook by Jimmy Carter. He's looking to end it here in round nine. DeMarco comes fighting back. Carter won rounds 10 through 13 by a close margin. DeMarco is still hanging in there, but here in round 14, Carter is definitely ahead. Carter won the world lightweight title in May 1951, three years ago, when he KO'd the great Ike Williams in New York. Carter has actually held the lightweight title twice. He lost the title to Loro Salas in May of 1952 and regained it six months later when he took a sharp 15-round decision from Salas. Carter still pressing champion DeMarco here in round 14. Since losing the title to DeMarco six months ago, Carter has had two bouts. He KO'd Charlie Riley at St. Louis and in his last fight just three weeks ago, he took a 10-round decision from Freddie Herman at San Francisco. Carter's manager, Willie Ketchum, is very confident that Carter will regain the lightweight title tonight. A tremendous right uppercut by Jimmy Carter. Jimmy seems to have everything his own way here in round 14. A crushing uppercut by Carter. DeMarco seems to be weary. Champion DeMarco fighting back. What's holding Patty on his feet? And Patty goes down at the end of the 14th round. His seconds help him to his corner. The question is, can DeMarco answer the bell for the 15th round? Courageously, DeMarco answers the bell for the 15th round. It's just a matter of time as Carter has taken over. Swarming dynamite punches by Jimmy Carter as the referee pulls Jimmy off the champion. It's scored as a knockdown. DeMarco continues as Carter swarms in there. The referee stops the fight, awarding the world lightweight championship once again to Jimmy Carter. In sensational fashion, Jimmy Carter has bombed his way back to the title against one of the most courageous lightweight champions in the history of the division, Patty DeMarco. Jimmy Carter once again becomes the world lightweight champion, putting himself in the record book as the only three-time holder of the world lightweight